uh, Isam and Void are all still in winners. So mm. both all those bounties are left. But right now, only Cake is uh, carrying in rivals. So that being said, Cake is on the other end of losers' quarters. We have the Maple Mirror that's going to be happening. We saw both of these guys shred stocks apart in their respective sets earlier. So we'll see what they can do against each other. To be honest, this, this matchup looks like one where you can actually just expect to see them just flying at each other nonstop because we have two tethers potentially active at all times. Yeah. <laughs> But in the meantime, uh, Latim starting off with some solid stage control. Just constantly poking uh, Forest into the sky and just focusing on these anti-airs with up tilt above anything else. Yeah, I think this one, uh, like I said against ZB, it was kind of the edge guarding. I don't know. I think this one's just going to come out into who can close stocks more reliably. Uh, mm -hmm. What percents you, we see them killing at and then also just getting the combos into their KO moves at the exact right times. And that's why I kind of like the fact that uh, Latim... Oh, there we go. Forest evening it up. I kind of like that Latin was focusing on more of a low committal juggle to start out with. Because at the end of the day, if you're not completely convinced that you can find the confirmed. What? Had him un that unmarked. So basically, with that DI, he was going for it looked like a tech on the side of Tower Heaven and missed it. And that's death. That's Maple. Yeah, absolutely. That extremely risky DI angle to go for. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, that's suicide DI. But Latim now not even stopping working on the last stock of Forest and looking so strong in the process. Going, oh my gosh, and that's not again! We, yeah, <laughs> it's not guaranteed, so if you miss it, it changes uh, the match completely. Yeah, already down to a last stock, and Forrest has access back to the neutral. Gets himself started. Looking to watch this edge guard, but doesn't actually find it. Weathers the mix up there. DI is up for the up air. Wow, L just mid almost able to get across its whole tower heaven when he looked like he was in trouble. <laughs> Latim watching, looking for that forward strong, but that forward down tilt interrupting Latim. Yeah. Just throwing out so many hitboxes on the other side of the screen. Oh, there we go. Lily actually got that for Latim there. Yeah, up tilt into Lily holding in place just long enough for the up air to finish it all together. Latim walking away with the first game, even after an SD. Yeah, that was almost saw like kind of blood in the water on that SD and brought that back. Mm -hmm. But Latim was able to stay uh, composed and take game one. And I, I, we also see that same patience from Latim. Like when he's in uh, when he's in a position to juggle, right? He kind of takes his time. And similarly, when he's the one knocked in the air, he just kind of uses his resources as much as possible, waiting for uh, Forrest to throw out a whiff that he can safely recover against. But now we just have Forrest going out deeper instead when he's throwing out moves, expecting Latim to be playing that defensively. Wow, Lily just being like, all right. Time to KO. Have a, a li almost had a Lily on both platforms. That was actually funny. <laughs> and we do it again. Yeah. They, 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 designate their sides of the stage. I want them to go meet when the uh, platforms move. <laughs> Say hi to each other. Yeah. Madam trying to get a little bit more damage. He's still got a solid near 100% onto Forest. But he's having a hard time finishing off this stock. There we go. Down Strong's absolutely going to do it, even from center stage. Yep, Maple is a light character, so if you can get a kill move on her, it's going to kill. Guaranteed. Both playing so evasively in terms of their movement, too. Finally, though, an offstage chance for uh, Forrest to take the second stock. But otherwise, doesn't look to pursue it too much. Yeah, when they're both marked, offstage is interesting because it's not a normal character offstage. It's kind of like they're both offstage almost. Yeah. Because <laughs> they can both just tether to each other at any point. Yeah, just like keep super dashing at each other over and over again. Oh, oh Latin with a little bit of a flub. Yeah, that whiff forward air, like you pointed out earlier, it's so dangerous. And that ends up costing Latin his stock, but he finds his next forward air. That one's not close enough to kill. Oh, no, it was, actually. Yeah. There, Forrest recognizes that he was too low after the wall jump. Uh, he didn't get enough height off of his up air to be able to make it back on stage. Just decides to just go to the next stock. It's a very melee-esque way to end your stock. Yeah. <laughs> the up still actually scooping a lot lower than I was expecting. They both ran up and parried. Are you serious? They're just that nervous right now. <laughs> hey, if either of them landed it, it'd be a huge advantage to get at that position. Oh, yeah. Right at the ledge when the opponent also has a tether on them, uh, a mark on them, absolutely. Wow, Elves just manages to drift out of that. That might be enough. 
Oh, yeah, that forces Forrest into that arc of recovery, and now he still doesn't have any resources. Yeah. Oh, wow. It looked like he could have. It looked like he got to the wall early enough to actually wall cling earlier. A little bit of a flub on his input. Yeah, I mean, even, even if he did, though, he didn't have his double jump, so he wouldn't be able to make it over the ledge without getting hit by the same force right, drop. Yeah. So, like, it was basically a done deal, and now Latim up 2 0 against uh, Forrest, making a very strong case as being still, like, one of the best Maples in the world now. I love the, the little uppercut he sneaks in, getting it. Bit of wow. that extra damage. Great Sending a message. Great little mix up by Els there to uh, <laughs> use the backwards forward special to kind of mess up uh, Latim on intercepting his landing. Because mm -hmm, it goes less distance, so you'd expect him to go a little bit further. Oh, there we go, getting wow. the nair that time, it looks like, right off the top. Just barely staying out of range of these uh, Edgar attempts by uh, Forrest. Latim playing very clean and still having the the awareness to look out for these parries, too. Goes for the up special there. That's uh, another thing about Rivals of Aether is uh, parry will stun the opponent unless they were jabbing, which is why like you see these really deep approaches into jabs at high percent to want to avoid that, mitigate that risk. Yeah, and the other, your opponent still gets invincibility, so usually when you jab and you get parried, you want to get out of there as quick as possible, but not in like a predictable way. You don't want to just like roll because usually that's what the opponent's going to set up for. Mm. So you'll see a lot of people just jump away. It's pretty common. Oh, messing up the uh, parry on Lily, finally. Uh, Latim gets it the second time. Not going to catch that second for, uh, up air, though. Forrest doing a good job disengaging off stage. Another tether, another mix up, gets the up air. And once again, though, Forrest not put off by that Nair earlier. He's still SDIing up. Yeah. He was at a position where I don't think Nair was guaranteed, so he held up for the up air, and he was right. Oh, but right there. We're seeing exactly what Maple's recovery is like when she doesn't have a mark. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. All she has is that tiny uppercut, and it's, it's strong, but it's not really a good movement option. And Latim getting another opening, just but it gets cut short, and this is an opportunity for Forrest. Gets at least the stage control. Ethereal Gates, again, being such a large stage, it's going to be hard for uh, Maple to kill herself at an early percent. Wow. What the was combo that nonsense? with Lily. Awesome display by Els, but he is down and right again, DIing. Oh, manages to get back this time. They both parry Lily. Use the invincibility. Such patience on that platform. This is the this is the possibility for uh, Latim to win just 3-0, but Forrest is really making that as hard as possible. Ooh, almost wow, catches the side. Wow, manages to get yeah. through with that fastball. That was impressive. Takes the invincibility from Lily. Latim, perfect reaction time to... No, and that's it. A little bit of a recovery flub. Yeah, I thought he was going to be able to make it, but just barely short again, and Latim... 3-0-ing the main maple. Yeah. Getting into loser semis in the process.